Good morning, my dear children. Hope you are in your best health and spirit. Okay, now we are entering into the next lesson of the NCRT book of class 3. And the name of the lesson is The Magic Garden. Please take page 4. Yes, now before I start the lesson, let me ask you some questions. Do you all have a garden? Beside your house, how do you feel when you look at the garden? You feel happy? Why? Why do you feel happy? Yes, because the flowers make you feel happy. The different bright colored, beautiful looking flowers make your mind very, very light and happy. Isn't it? Yes. But you know, there are different creatures which are attracted by, these, by the beautiful look of the flowers. Can you name them? Yes, they are the beautiful colored butterflies. They come in varied colors, varied designs. Isn't it? Majestic looking butterflies are there. And these butterflies, they are attracted by the, by the Yes, by the beautiful look of the flowers and by the sweet smell of the flowers too. Not only look, by the sweet, pleasant smell. They are attracted by the sweet and pleasant smell of the flowers. Okay, so flowers make everyone happy. Isn't it children? Right. Okay, now let us enter into the lesson. The Magic Garden. What do you see? What do you find in the two picture uh, in the two pages, children? You find two pictures. Can you describe the pictures? What is in the first page? In the first page, yes, the little boys and girls are very, very uh, smart. They are very happy. Some of them are playing, yes. And some of them are after a butterfly. Right. Where are they playing children? Are they playing around their house? No. Right. They are playing in the school. In the school playground. Right. In the school playground. And how do you know they are uh, playing in the school playground? Excellent. They are in their school uniform. See how smart they look in their school uniform. The girls tied their hair very neatly and the boys in their smart uniform, they all look very, very active and lively. Right? Yes. Now, and see in the second page, second page, the children are all the more active. They are so busy. The little girls are with watering cans. What are they doing? The, what are the girls doing? They are watering the flowers. They are watering the plants. Yes. And what are the boys doing over there? The boys are planting a sapling. Yes. You can find a boy planting a sapling. And what is the other boy doing at that end? He, yes, yes. He is trying to feed a sparrow. Right you are. Now, I shall read the lesson and you listen and read at home repeatedly okay if you read the lesson repeatedly what will you have you will understand the language okay that will help you to understand the language easily okay now the magic garden the magic garden was in a school playground it was very pretty pretty means beautiful Sunflowers and roses stood high against the wall. There were also marigolds, poppies and pansies. So what are the different types of flowers in the garden, school garden? Sunflowers, roses, marigolds, poppies and pansies. Right. The sunshine fell on this garden more than on any other. And the flowers danced and sang happily. Why are the flowers so happy children because the sunshine fell on them more than on any other 
than on any other place. They felt, the flowers felt that the sunshine fell on them more and they were so thrilled, so happy. They started dancing and singing. It is their imagination. It is the imagination of the writer. Okay, children? Do the flowers dance? Do the plants sing? Plants a flowers sing? No. It is a writer's imagination. The writer feels that the flowers, the plants are so happy to receive the sun uh, sun rays. Okay. The flowers said to one another, We have hundreds of little gardeners. Who are these gardeners? Yeah, the little boys and girls from the school. We have hundreds of little gardeners. They were the children from the school. One sunny morning, the flowers were talking to the birds. I love all the children, but I love the dear little ones most of all. Who are the dear little ones? The dear little ones are the small and tiny children of that school. Very small children, like our children, the school, children of our school, LKG, UKG children are there, no? So like them, the tiny children, the flowers and the plants, they love the small children, the tiny children, more than any other children, okay? I like them to bring their watering cans and water my thirsty roots. And one flower is telling that I like them to bring their watering cans. I like the tiny child or the tiny children to bring the watering cans and water my thirsty roots. Thirsty roots means the roots which are, which are needing water. The roots which are very thirsty. Why are they thirsty? Because they need water. Understand? So, I feel happy. I feel very happy when the boys, when the little boys and girls bring the watering cans and water my thirsty roots. Yes, said the marigolds. The boys are good to us too. And the marigold is also nodding its head. And the marigold is also agreeing to it. And marigold is telling, yes, yes, even the boys. They are also willing to do work for us. The boys, they dig the ground so well. They, they have more strength, isn't it? So they can dig the ground well and they're doing it. We are so happy to have these children working for us. Okay, children. So you have understood the lesson so far. Read at home for the next, for tomorrow's class. Come prepared. Okay. If you have not understood, I'll solve the problem in an online class. Okay. Till then. Bye.